Hi and welcome in the next Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm giving you another tip on how to make the freckles pop out and also how to create natural looking freckles in Photoshop. One thing you need to know, we are not doing any shortcuts. So I'm actually showing you how to create the best looking freckles. I'm showing you the best technique, which is very basic but you must know it's also the best technique that gives you the the most possibilities, the technique that makes your images looking absolutely amazing. And today we're working on Zusia Zavada, my dear friend, image that I've done with her a lot of projects. And of course, you can find my portfolio. I think over half of my projects were done with this amazing photographer. So as you can see, this image is already after retouch, but also the model has some natural looking beautiful freckles on her face. So what we want to do, we actually want to improve the things that are characteristic. You don't want to remove freckles from the image. Some people, in fact, some people is doing this, but it doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. If you thinking of photography and retouching in serious way, these are the things you're going to keep and these are the things that you will improve. And I'm telling this to you as a professional retoucher with few years of experience working professionally for TV, for the websites, for fashion magazines, for beauty magazines, for beauty products, etc. So how do we start? It's very simple. We actually need to open curve adjustment layer, which I'm going to call make freckles pop or pop freckles. And there is nothing easier. What we do next, you need to drag down your curve adjustment layer. So simply you just need to darken your image. It's not finished. Then we change blending mode from normal to luminosity. Why? Because we also only want to affect the luminosity values and we don't want to change any color, right? We only take care of the amount of the light. Then I'm going to invert this layer mask because if we have white layer mask, everything is visible. If it's black layer mask, everything is invisible, but our effect is still in this layer and you can see it by opening this curve adjustment layer. But of course, we are able to bring this effect if we paint the, with the white brush, as you can see, we are bringing up the effect that it's there. So what I'm actually doing, I'm making really small brush, I'm zooming in and I'm finding the freckles. Some of them are really well hidden. And what I'm doing, I'm actually trying to paint as the freckles are. Don't worry if the effect right now will be strong. Just follow me and paint over the freckles. Why I'm doing this with rather small brush? Because I don't want to make them, I don't know how to say it, maybe fluffy. I don't want to make them um, not good looking. I want to paint as the shape of the freckles is. So that's the first step. We are improving the freckles and I'm trying to do this as fast as possible, seeing where the freckles are. It's really easy to spot them as you can see there is some freckles that are quite washed out and we don't want to make them wash out so we're just painting over them a little bit some here some here some here i'm i'm pretty sure you can see if you can't see it just make sure you're watching this in the full available quality which is 4k but i believe um 1080 uh, resolution will be just enough so I believe, just give me 30 seconds to finish painting over these freckles. And then, of course, I'm going to show you the next part of making freckles available, making freckles impressive and making them pop. So, okay, this is pretty much done. I would say they're more visible. Let's zoom out and we can have an even hit this, as you can see, the freckles are much more visible now on the image and they look natural, 
maybe a little dark, but it's it doesn't matter. They look natural because we keep the same shape of the freckles. If they are too strong, you can simply just manipulate with the opacity of the image. And if you change the opacity, it will look more natural. And our another step is creating freckles from very beginning. You see, sometimes you have not enough freckles because some of them were covered under the makeup. Some of them may be re removed by accident during cleaning up process. So what I'm doing, I'm creating new layer, new curve adjustment layer. This time, I'm going to call this just freckles. And also, this time, I'm dragging this curve even more. But what I'm doing this time, I'm actually not switching blending mode from normal to luminosity. And you will see why after we start. So what I'm doing, I'm still sort of finding the spots where the freckles would be very easily adaptive. But even where I don't see freckles, I'm trying to feel the spots, where they are, where the spots are, where something is missing. So I'm trying to find the spots. I'm also keeping the brush eye still quite small. Why I'm keeping this small? To make different shape of freckles. You don't want the freckles to have all the same shape. What you want to do, you want to make the freckles having different shape because the freckles are not just dots. Freckles sort of have their own characters. Some of them are roundy, some of them are long. So you actually want to create the freckles, but you want to keep some fantasy. So don't be scared of doing this. You always can correct this. Just go with your intuition. And also what I have to say, it's really difficult to create a freckles on the highlights. It's just too blown up. If I'm going to paint on this, let's have a look. It, it doesn't really appear. So we have to skip the spot, but near the highlights, you might actually find the spot where it will be possible to paint a freckle. For example, here, it's still bright, but it's not too bright to create a freckle. So make sure you paint close to the highlights as well, not to leave just empty spots to create some freckles. We might need to create some roundy ones, etc. Uh, let me create a few more and I think we'll be able to finish the lesson. Just a little bit here and here. Let's zoom out. So the reason is why I actually kept this blending mode as a normal, because if we change it to luminosity, not color of course, luminosity, it might sort of appear, as you can see here, without the color and freckles always have some color so that's why we actually keep the blending mode normal obviously it's too strong so what i'm doing you look at other freckles and you change the opacity you simply lower the opacity because the another freckles that you created supposed to not be uh, too strong you want them nicely blend into other freckles and what it's done as you can see we have some created natural freckles improved and create some of the new freckles. I'm going to put these two into the new group right now. Command or Control NG. I'm going to call this freckles and have a look on the image before and after. Some of you could ask me why I do not create a brush, the custom brush when I can just press once and create plenty of freckles. You see, you want to keep control on painting freckles. If you think seriously, there is no shortcuts. If you want to be retoucher, if you want to be post-production artist, if you respect that photographer, you want to keep full control on each freckles. That's why the best method to do this is the manual method. Of course, you will spend a few minutes more, but it's still very low price for high quality image. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I'm going to see you very soon in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you!